Today is August 18th, 2015. What you are looking at is a air motor 702 eight foot head hanging in my shop. Um, there's the stub tower. I am putting this up. I got a windmill, oh, I got a, a farm that, uh, or a well over at a place that's run off an electric motor. And the electric company decided to raise the rates, so we said stick it. And we figured we could cheaper put up a windmill than it was anything else. Plus there was already a tower there. So this here is what it is. It's a 702 air motor. Um, the gearbox and everything inside here. Um, it's got the long and then the short, um, the short draw length, the, the short, this here's the short, uh, short draw. And then the long ones in, in, inside there is the, the brake for it. And then all the mechanism for the, uh, for opening and closing it. Um, yeah, I got the tail on here. It's pretty, pretty big, uh, pretty big mill. The tower is about a 50 footer. So it, this big eight foot mill will, should be able to handle quite a bit of, uh, about, uh, quite a bit. Um, the tower with the, uh, the red base on it, the platform is the, is this actual tower that's gonna be up on the, on the, the stub tower that's gonna be up on the tower. The, um, the short one over there is the one I'm going to use. I'm going to make a base for it and use it as a repair tower just in case I need to ever work on something like work on this thing. Uh, but this will be the first windmill to be up and operating on, the, on our property si uh, since I would guess probably the 1940s. So this is going to be a, a pretty, pretty, big, uh, pretty big deal. Uh, like I said, it's an air motor 702, um, the dual gears. The big, big cogged gears. I believe it is a, if it's not a remake, it is a brand new one. I think it's a remake. Oh no, no, I think it's a brand new, it's a, this is a brand new mill. Um, I don't have the draw rod attached in the bottom there yet because it's sitting right there. It's the red draw rod right there. And then I got the, the shut off lever hanging there in the bonnet. I got it hanging by the loop here. So, and I just finished assembling the head. Um, I got a slick in my a slick idea of taking the uh, uh, blade sections and I uh, painted them red tipped so they look kind of different because at a at a distance they'll look really neat. Um, so for that, uh, this video was requested by um, the fat track the 560 lover. He said I sent him a picture. He said you should make a video of that. So I am. Here you go, buddy. So there she be, I guess. It's there's not much to look at, but it it's a mill. You can see it it turns. I don't want it moving much in here. And it won't go all the way up due to that chain. But that's the only way I could hold it from going everywhere and I gotta keep the door shut, otherwise the window rays heck with it. Cause that right now it's right now it's raining to beat the Dickens out so well it was. It's it's windier than heck out there, so. But for now, that's what it is. I'm gonna maybe make a video of pulling, putting up the tower. I took it down yesterday, so that was uh, interesting new new thing. I didn't make a video because I was afraid I was gonna screw it up and make a real big mess. But I didn't do too bad. The tower came down in one piece. So for that, here it is: the 702 eight foot, yeah, eight foot air motor. Um, yeah, for those of you who are wondering, it's a little bit off my track of what I put up, but, uh, so far so good, I guess. I kind of have a natch, a nick for windmills and mechanics, so, there you are, there it is.